Well, you know, it's impossible to sum up John Ed's career along the Gulf Coast. Again, it's a career that has lasted more than three decades. Over that time, he has touched a lot of people. Fox 10 News anchor Bob Grip has more now on the life and times of John Ed. A lot has changed in the 34 years since I first met John Ed Thompson here at the TV station that used to stand at the corner of St. Louis and Conception Street in downtown Mobile. But one thing, especially about John Ed, has always remained constant. John Ed is always ultimately himself. And he's somebody we all like. He's just like us. He never puts himself above us. He's right there with us. And he always comes from that side door with something you're not expecting. When God made John Ed, they only made one of a kind. As you know, Bob, in this business, people don't stay around in one place for that long of a time. And, and John Ed is just an institution and a legend here and certainly somebody we're awfully proud of. In 1979, John Ed spent hours on the air, keeping you company from our transmitter site in Baldwin County after Hurricane Frederick caused the power to fail in downtown Mobile. Then for one tropical storm or hurricane after another one, more than I can count, John Ed was your constant companion and friend during the worst of every storm and the recovery that followed. He has a personality that uh, stays calm during times of uh, sheer terror for some people. One of the things I've tried to tell myself is uh, never overly excite someone. You don't want people to be afraid. You want them to be reassured, and if they need to take action, that's what you need to tell them. He is a good guy. Uh, he doesn't put on any airs about him. What you see on the air is what you get, and I think that is probably the key to, to his success over the years, no doubt. Mine, well, it was right here. It was built back in 1977. He even kept serving you after finding out that Hurricane Katrina washed away the home he loved on Dauphin Island. He's the only meteorologist to win the Press Register's Reader's Choice Award every year it's been offered. He's also a winner of the Mobile Press Club's John Harris Achievement Award, the organization's highest honor. Bye, John Ed. Happy retirement. We'll miss you. John Ed, we wish you a great time. Good luck on retirement, John Ed. I think the greatest tribute to John Ed comes from all of you who tuned in day after day and year after year because John Ed became a member of your extended family. You can't ask for a better compliment than that. Well, if I'd known I was going to get this kind of attention, I would have done it years ago. <laughs> I think I can, I can do that. I believe I can. <laughs> John Ed, John Ed, what's the weather going to be? I'm off duty. <laughs> Hey, John Ed, just wanted to wish you goodbye. Wish I could be there in person, but as you know, Bree and I had this 35th wedding anniversary trip set up before we knew that you were going to retire. Otherwise, we'd be right there with you. We're sure going to miss you, and we know you're not going to be a stranger. So take care, John Ed. Best of luck.